Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are going through SOLIDWORKS Quick Start Chapter 2, this is Part 3, after we've created the Revolve. And so we have our wheel, now we need to cut slots in the wheel, and here's how we do it. We need to create a new sketch first. So what you do, you can sketch on several things, you can sketch on one of these planes, you can create a reference geometry, you can create a new plane, or you can sketch on any face, which is what we're going to do this time. I'm going to just choose the face of the wheel. It highlights. We can sketch on it. The menu up here tells me I can create a new sketch. I can edit sketch. I don't want to edit the old sketch. I want a new sketch. And I also want to look normal to that sketch. I want to look normal to it. Or perpendicular. Now we're going to create a center point sl uh, straight slot. Click. We want it to be right above the origin. So we go to the origin, just hover over it, don't click anything, and just raise your mouse up and it start, turns into dotted blue lines about halfway between the inner circle and the outer circle and I pick up the center point the origin again I got the dotted blue lines going up Ooh. There. it's also picking up this point so these two points are perfectly aligned too you'll notice so the dotted blue lines going to the top rather than going down to the origin which is fine they both, they're both right on the same vertical line. Click three points. Click the center, click one of the end points, and make it a slot. Click, click, click. And then you're done. Now, now we need to get the dimensions on the slot. And here's how we do that. We, first of all, deselect the slot. Just click anywhere in the graphics window. Grab the center point circle, start it at the origin, move it out until it's at the center point of the slot. The center point of the slot is highlighted orange. Click. So you've made your circle. One thing before you click the green check mark though. Go over here and click for construction. Construction's lines don't show up on the final piece that you're making. They're there for reference only. That's what construction lines are for. So that's what this circle is for. Now we can start dimensioning. Put on our smart dimension. And we want to make the circle 50. So we click on the circle, go up, make it exactly 50. We want to make um, this line here between the center points 15 and we want to make the radius of the slot 4 so R4 R means radius the little zero with a line through it means diameter, by the way. So we have our slot. Click. Dimensions are done. Are we fully defined? Yes, our sketch is fully defined. Now we want to do an extrude cut. Features, extrude cut. Now we're going to do blind and we're going to do through all. So we just want to cut through the wheel, through everything. You can do through all both. That's bi-directional, through all one way. We only have to do it one way because we're on one side. Cut. Boom. Now you have a hole in the wheel. Voila. Now the final thing we're going to do is we're going to do a pattern on the extrude cut. So we have the extrude cut selected. And we want to do a pattern on it. You can make linear patterns of things. You can also make circular patterns, which is what we want. 
So I want to make an, a circular pattern out of this extrude cut. And it's going to be equal spacing. And we have to, we've already, we've already turned on our temporary axes. If you take a look at the eyeball icon, you see the temporary axes are already on. So we're fine there. And we, I'm going to rotate it a bit so I can see the temporary axes. We want to the axis of rotation up here to be the same temporary axes that we did the revolve around. There. Shows me the preview. I have eight instances, which is what I want. Everything is hunky-dory. Click. Boom. We've got our eight holes cut. Now we can we can edit this feature. So right click on it and it says edit feature. And we can say do four instead. Preview shows us four. Click. Okay. We don't want that. So I'm going to do control Z, go backwards, undo, and we're back to our, our slots in the wheel again. Now we also want a hole in this face right here. So I'm going to click on this face and we're going to create a new sketch again. And I want to look perpendicular to the sketch. I want to see it face on. Now you can use the hole wizard. There is a thing called the hole wizard. You know, a lot of people struggle with it. So I'm just going to show you how to make, uh, make the hole. Just plain old, just make a hole. You want a five millimeter hole. That's it. That's all there is to it. So get your circular your circle, make a five millimeter circle. I started the center of my circle right at the origin, by the way. Want to make that very clear. Made my circle. Want to smart dimension it, make it five millimeters. Now I want to cut it. Extrude cut. Do it through all again, and click, click, and we have a hole cut through it. Okay. Now, I'm going to uh, do fillets next. That'll be part four of this chapter. I'm going to stop right here, though. And we'll pick it up next time.